In this video, we will show you how to set up page steering. First using a ZC3 wall controller, then with the ZC7 wall controller. We will assume that you already have your configuration complete. If you need help with configuring the Zone Pro first, please click on the link in the description below to watch the Zone Pro configuration video. During the process of configuring your Zone Pro, you will come to the ZC panel configuration page which is located under the Wizard tab and Configuration Wizard. This page will allow you to select which ZC controllers you would like to use. For this example, we'll be selecting a ZC3 first, which is connected to port 1 through 6 on the back of the Zone Pro using a Cat5 Ethernet cable. Dip switch 1 on the ZC3 is set to on. Select the ZC3 in the drop-down menu labeled Type and name it appropriately. Then select Page Steer in the second drop-down menu and select the source input you would like to steer. For this example, we'll choose Lobby Mic. When that's complete, click on the Edit button to choose the assignments for each position on the ZC3. We'll have position A send the mic signal to the lobby, bar, and dining areas. Position B will send the mic signal to the patio, lounge, and deck areas. Position C will send the mic signal to the lobby only and position D will send the signal to all zones. Click OK when you've assigned the positions. Click Next Page and we'll set up our ZC7. For this example, the ZC7 is connected to ports 7 through 12 on the back of the Zone Pro. Set Dip Switch 1 to On and select the ZC7 in the drop-down menu labeled Type and name it appropriately. Select the source you'd like to steer. For this example, we'll choose Page Mic since we've already used the Lobby Mic. When that's complete, click the Edit button to choose the assignments for each position on the ZC7, just like we did with the ZC3. We'll leave None selected with no check marks so that no mic signal is sent. We'll have position A send the page mic signal to the lobby, dining, and lounge areas. Position B will send the mic signal to the bar, patio, and deck areas. Position C will send the mic signal to the dining and patio areas. And position D will send the signal to the lounge and deck. Click OK when you've assigned the positions. Click Next until you get to the front panel configuration page. Notice that page 1 and 2 are disabled now that we've selected page steering with the ZC3 and ZC7. Keep in mind that it's also possible to page steer with a ZC4 using your own contact closures. Click Finish to exit the configuration wizard. Now let's watch the meters as we test our ZC controllers. We'll test the ZC3 first. Position A will show meter activity on outputs 1, 2, and 3 for the lobby, bar, and dining areas. Position B will show meter activity on outputs 4, 5, and 6 for the patio, lounge, and deck areas. Position C will show meter activity on output 1 only for the lobby. And position D will show meter activity on all outputs at once. Now let's test the ZC7. With none selected, we do not have meter activity on any outputs. With A selected, it will show meter activity on outputs 1, 3, and 5 for the lobby, dining, and lounge areas. With B selected, it will show meter activity on outputs 2, 4, and 6 for the bar, patio, and deck areas. With C selected, it will show meter activity on outputs 3 and 4 for the dining and patio areas. And with D selected, it will show meter activity on outputs 5 and 6 for the lounge and deck areas. You've now successfully set up a ZC3 and ZC7 for page steering with your Zone Pro hardware. If you have any questions, please visit www.dbxpro.com.